also this conference joined... will now be recorded. Oh, sorry. Uh, you also joined the session with me. So without further ado, before I start my presentation today, let's watch a short video to help everybody have an mm. overview of Sentosa. Oh, uh, hello, Junie. Can you hear me? Hi, Junie, your video is not playing actually. Hi, I think there's some technical issues. Just give us two minutes. We will be back in two minutes. Okay, I apologize for this inconvenience. So please don't leave. Uh, just give us two to three minutes so that we can resolve the problem. Hello, sorry everybody for the technical issue. I'm back. Okay. Yeah, so let's back with my video again. Sorry, is there anybody say anything? No, ma'am, you can continue. Oh, okay, can. Thank you. Run, 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 run
All right. So I believe many of you may or may not been to Sentosa before. So let's start with where we are. Uh, Sentosa is one of the southern island of Singapore. From Changi Airport, it will be around 25 minute drive. And from the cruise center, the Singapore Cruise Center and Marina Bay Cruise Center, it will be around five to 10 minute drive. And from the city center, it will be around 10 minute drive. And if the tourist is coming from Malaysia via bus, it will be around 30 minute drive from both causeway. So how the tourists can go to the island? There are many options to choose from. The first option is Sentosa Express or Monorail. The tourists can board the Sentosa Express at the Vivo City Shopping Center, uh, or they can also take the private coaches, which is very popular for those uh, GIT. Um, and then the third option is Capo Car. This is the most preferred option by Indian tourists because they can enjoy the beautiful view of Sentosa Island while sitting inside the Capo Car cabin. The tourists can board the Capo Car at Mount Faber or at the Harbourfront Center. The next option is public buses. We have the bus 123 from the city area to the Sentosa Beach Station. Uh, other option is the private car, so the tourists can take Grab or taxi to go into the island also. So when the guest is already on the island, uh, if they want to go from one place to another, they can just uh, easily walk or they can just uh, take any public transport like uh, the bus ABC, the beach tram or the monorail on the island and all of the public transport on the island are free. Can be considered as a destination by itself because we have a wide range of accommodation, a variety of extraordinary experiences, as well as the versatile FB offering. Regarding to the accommodation, right now we have 17 hotels with more than 4,000 rooms. Uh, among all, six are under Resort World Sentosa and three are owned by Far East Hospitality. Majority of uh, our hotel and resort are five stars. However, we also have our village hotel Sentosa and the uh, Siloso Beach Resort are the four star category. So the guests can easily choose the option that's suitable to their budget. So what makes staying on the island more unique and different from staying in the city hotel? Mm, beside all of the business hotel, we also offer resort style and family friendly hotels. So Sentosa is the only place in Singapore where you, can, where you can wake up with the beautiful view of the South China Sea or the beautiful view of the ocean, like this one. So Sentosa is well known among tourists for a variety of extraordinary experiences. We have plenty full of leisure activities from exciting attraction for family-friendly action seeker and explorer uh, to team building activity for mice and corporate group. We also have other experiences like shopping, golf, spa, or just simple as chilling by the beach or nature activities. So um, let's watch a, a short video to see what activity and experiences you can find on Sentosa. <laughs> Down the road, 
Okay, as you can see, we have over 20 attractions with more than 50 activities. So to help the guests maximize their experience during their visit to Sentosa, we have one special product called Sentosa Fun Pass or Sentosa Token Pass. So the Sentosa Fun Pass 1.0 was launched in October 2018. And in the coming June 2020, we are going to revamp the product and launch the Sentosa Fun Pass 2.0. So what are the highlights of our FunPass product? Firstly, it offers the convenience. Uh, the FunPass provides the guests a convenient pass at one price. There's no difference between the, the rate for the adult and child, and it offers hassle-free. So the guests no longer need to carry multiple tickets to play at a different attraction on Sentosa. So a family of four can just share one FunPass if they prefer. Um, secondly, it's offer value for money. So it's an upfront discount for FunPass user compared to purchasing uh, individual attraction ticket with the walking prices. And it also offer a chance to experience multitude of attraction, F&B and retail offerings only available for FunPass user. And lastly, for distribution and marketing, because it's one common product, so it's easy to market and distribute in multiple forms. So here's the recap of our fun pass. This is a great product for leisure and mice guests. Uh, for leisure, it can be used for FIT guests as well as the GIT, as long as they have one day free and easy because the pass can be used for two consecutive days with multiple entry. The fun pass can be used at more than 50 indoor and outdoor activity, which means no matter how the weather like, the guests can always change their mind and choose the activity that they like. And when they use finish the value of the pass, they can just um, easily top up at any ticketing counter for as low as five dollar. Hello. So, sorry. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, I would like to comment on this. Right? Please listen to this carefully because most of the agent has question regarding this fun pass. So it is very important uh, to know about this fun pass. Please, you may carry on. Oh, okay, Ken. Thank you. So this is how our Fun Pass 1.0 look like. Uh, we have three options of token group for the guests to choose from. It's a 55, 80, and 120 token. Uh, as you can see, the below is the published rate. This is the rate that the guests can find on our online store or at any ticketing counter. So for our travel agent, uh, as long as you purchase from our DMC partner, uh, like the Travel DMC, uh, of course, they will offer you a better rate. So right now for the 50 token, the published rate is $51. 80 token is 72 and 120 token is $105. So for the Fun Pass 2.0, uh, the first key difference you can see is there will be the different in token group. There will be three token groups, 60, 90, and 120 tokens. So to reduce the need for the guests to... Uh, calculate between the dollar to token ratio. Um, right, right now, the published rate for 60 token will be $60. 90 token will be $90. 120 token will be $120. Uh, the second key difference is we will offer 
the additional value when the guests purchase the higher token group. So if they purchase 90 token, there will be free 5 token. And when they purchase 120 token, there will be free 10 token. So in total, they will have 95 and 130 token. And then we still we have to working uh, on it to finalize on the detail of the product. And we will update all of you again when it comes closer to the launching date. So right now, the tentative uh, launching period will be in June. We will keep our partner updates again on this. Uh, so next for the FNB offerings, uh, we have wide selection of FNB choices from local cuisine to alfresco and beef style and to celebrity chef and fine dining. Uh, for our Indian guests, if they want to look for Indian cuisine on the island, uh, they can go to the Royal Taj. This is the newly opened Indian restaurant located at the Village Hotel Sentosa. Or they can also go to other uh, restaurant and eatery outlet like um, Arches, Toast and Curry, or Samuda Express. Besides that, we also have some unique dining experiences like um, dining on the Royal Batros, or the private dining inside the cable car, or dining by the ocean at the Ocean Restaurant, uh, or just simple as uh, dining with a beautiful view at Keysai Isle, Sentosa Cove or enjoy the beautiful sunset at Dusk or Abora restaurant on Vapor Peak. So I believe this is the part that everybody is most waiting for to know about what is new and upcoming offerings on Sentosa. So uh, let's start with our latest attraction, Magical Shaw at Siloso. Uh, this attraction uh, is, uh, was opened on 23rd Jan 2020. Uh, it's open daily from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. at Siloso Beach and it's open free to everyone. As you can see here, it's a beautiful interactive music and lighting show. To understand how the show looks like, let's watch a short video. So coming next in the second half of this year, 2020, we have Sex at Siloso uh, also open. Uh, this is a complex of attraction, unique event, food and mice destination. As you can see, this is the artist's impression of the whole area. Uh, location wise, uh, it's located right at the previous uh, underwater world. Uh, it's opposite the Fort Siloso Skywalk and opposite the Shangri-La Rasa Sentosa. So for the tourists, if they want to come here, they can just take the cable car and uh, alight at the Siloso Point cable car station right here. Or they can just take the intra-island bus and drop up right here. There's one bus stop right here. So this is how the whole area look like. Uh, we have car parks. There are two car parks, one event field, uh, one stacks market. And as you can see, we have uh, two attractions. Trick Eye Museum and Head Rock VR will also move to this area as well. On another view, you can see the VIP area for the events. And inside uh, the stack market, you can see we will have the FMB, we will have the social area as well as the live band performance. Uh, further, further a bit, uh, we will have our Fantosa Sensory Escape open. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. I would like to have you to please mute your mic. It's a humble request. Uh, you may continue. Uh, thank you. Uh, so further a bit, in 2021, next year, uh, we will have our Sentosa Sensory Escape open. 
So Sentosa Sensory Scape uh, is a link way to connect uh, between Resort World Sentosa in the north and Sentosa beaches uh, in the south. So let's watch a video to see how Sentosa sen Sensory Scape will look like when it's fully open. Yeah, so besides uh, all of the exciting plans for Sentosa, we also have many new offerings coming from our island partners like Resort World Sentosa that have been announced recently. Firstly, is for Universal Studio. Uh, this is one of the most popular attractions for Indian tourists. There will be an expansion plan with the two new themes, Minion Park and Super Nintendo World, will be added into the Universal Studio. Secondly, is for Sea Aquarium. Uh, sea Aquarium will also be expanded to more than three times of its present size, and it will be called Singapore Oceanarium. Coming to the Oceanarium, there will be the specially curated marine life and the exhibit of prehistoric marine life and deep sea creature. Uh, there will also be a new waterfront lifestyle complex. Uh, there will be two new destination hotels in this area as well and it will be located at the end of the Sentosa boardwalk. And for lastly, for Resort World Sentosa, the existing uh, Resort World Theatre will be replaced by the new Adventure Dining Playhouse, where the guests can come here to have some fun dining in the pirate theme. Lastly, for a further future, in the next 10 years, 2030, um, there will be Sentosa Brani Master Plan. This plan was announced by government on 18 August 2019 during the National Day Rally. Uh, with this plan, it will transfer the whole Sentosa and Brani Island into a greater southern waterfront area. So let's watch a short video to see how Sentosa will be transformed up in the next 10 years. The Sentosa Brani Master Plan is a comprehensive blueprint to take Singapore's iconic leisure destination to its next phase of growth. Located close to the CBD and emerging greater southern waterfront, the integration of Sentosa Pula Brani creates exciting opportunities for the precinct. In Brani's new waterfront park, markers will be placed to remember the island's port heritage. State-of-the-art attractions will sit within a new futuristic discovery park. 
The vibrant cluster will invite a new generation of attraction goers with the Island Heart taking center stage. Guests can stroll through a range of interesting outdoor and indoor attractions enveloped in a lush tropical landscape and experience. Arriving at the Island Heart, guests will be greeted by views of Mount Serapong, framed by iconic architecture. Take a break under shaded al fresco dining areas and see outdoor performances spill onto the water's edge. Attractions and play spaces inspired by the reef will encourage exploration and discovery. Sheltered walkways allow comfortable outdoor journeys around the water's edge, linking attractions set against the backdrop of Satyrus's forced bridge. A new landmark lookout point will offer panoramic views of Santosa and Pola Brana. The conserved ridgeline provides a solace away from the city crowds, a restorative environment to immerse in natural and cultural heritage. Travel from the ridge to Santosa's Golden Beaches. The beach promenade will be a fun and relaxing destination for families easily accessible by the new travel network. Sheltered event spaces sit amongst coconut palms overlooking the beach. A major beach event space featuring a water show sits alongside other new family-friendly water and beachfront attractions. New bars and fairgrounds provide dining options into the night. Integrating Santosa Brani Island, the master plan illustrates the possibilities of new leisure, recreation, and tourism offerings for Singapore. Look forward to an amazing day to night island escape. Yep, so that's uh, coming to the end of my presentation today. So just feel free to let me know if you have any questions regarding to my presentation today. Me and my colleague, uh, Glendon, will try to answer all of the questions. Uh, thank you for the lovely presentation, Jenny. Yep. No I would like to comment on Sentosa that it's huge. I mean, it can easily take three to four days just to explore the whole island, I guess. Yep. Definitely. And it's, to be honest. So let's start off uh, our question and answer session. So I would like to request uh, the viewers just uh, open your mic one by one and you can ask the question to Ms. Juni. Uh, hi, yeah, I, hi, Juni. Uh, hi, Juni. Uh, just, I'm Saurabh here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, I saw that uh, the, you have a fun pass plan, right? Yes. Yes. So do you have a, uh, <laughs> uh, some meal plan including in that uh, fun pass plan? Uh, sorry, can you repeat the questions again? Uh, do you have a, a meal uh, plan in that fun pass or meal is se separate? Uh, so, uh, based on, according to my presentation, um, the Fun Pass is an ongoing product. It's considered as a new product because uh, it was launched in 2018. Uh, it's a request that after the question, can you please put a uh, mute on the mic so that she can answer? <laughs> from... Hello. Hi. Can uh, you okay. please mail this uh, presentation? You mean the um, the slide? Yeah, the slide. Yeah. Uh, you mean email the slide? Yeah, the presentation slide. Yeah, whatever yeah. slides you have. Yeah, yeah. I I so, so uh, I would I would like to tell everyone uh, that I will make sure to send the presentation and the video material and all the marketing material to all of you guys in the email so if we How have another my email address i don't know uh do is it email address? mentioned it will be in the mention in the when you were logging in into the meeting 
I think you have mentioned the email. I don't know. I just logged in and it uh, accepted. No so problem. You I can just know. you can just put up in the chat box. We'll make sure of it. We record all the conversations. Oh, the chat box. Where is the chat box? Chat box uh, is here. Yeah. So if uh, any other question is there, someone would like. Uh, to... Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, hello. Yeah, Jenny. Yeah, hi. Jenny, sorry. This is Ashok Bajaj. Uh, I just have a question for you. Uh, when is Singapore ready to full-fledgedly welcome tourists this year? And how? What is the, like? How is the correct uh, current scenario with the incoming flights from foreign destination? Just an idea for us. You know. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I I didn't really catch your questions. Uh, actually, he was asking that when it will be ready. I mean, ready, ready. I mean, like, when we can expect. Uh, okay. Mm, these questions are a bit difficult for us to answer right now because uh, the situation, not only in Singapore but uh, all over the world, the situation is quite fluid right now. So it's very difficult for us to answer when we'll be ready again. Uh, either for Singapore or other countries, especially like for India. So I think the most we can do, <coughs> we will prepare our for the recovery. Uh, when the all the markets are ready, when people are ready to travel again, then we will immediately launch our re recovery plan. But uh, in terms of when, we won't be able to tell yet. I would like to request all of the viewers to mute right now and ask the question in the chat box. And I'll make sure to ask the question or I can call your name. Please mute all of your mic. Yeah. Uh, you just type the question in the chat box. Uh, Mr. Aja Mittal. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, hi. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, uh, my question is, uh, even if uh, our guest has a fund pass uh, for the Sentosa, okay, still uh, I'm confused, like uh, the, even the guest has a fund pass, still he has to go to the each attraction ticket counter, and show the fund pass and take a ticket individually. In the fun pass doesn't allow him to get and and directly into the attraction. He has to wait till in in the queue for in the ticket line and get the ticket. Right. Mm, okay. Actually, because uh, right now for all of the attraction in Sentosa, um, some of them may have their own ticketing system. That's why they request the guests to exchange for their own tickets so that they can easily uh, track internally. But we do have a traction that we can just need to bring the fun pass there and, and, and use directly because all of the uh, island partner have the fun pass scanner. So we are with the new uh, fun pass revamp and the new ticketing system, we will improve on that part. And now uh, once the system is ready, we will update all of you again on how to use the new fun pass ticket as well. Okay. Okay. And one more, my last question is, uh, can you please uh, help us elaborate? Like uh, we have 20 attractions. Okay. And uh, the guests who uh, are always want to know that which attraction he will do. So he, he buys a fun pass so that he can enjoy the attraction, uh, whichever he likes. So how can we better plan the itinerary for, uh, for covering all the attraction in Santosa? Because each attraction mm, has a description okay. zone. Mm, yes, correct. So to be able, firstly, to be able to cover all of the Sentosa attraction uh, without any rush, you will need uh, two full days, excluding the uh, excluding the Universal Studio.
because if the guest going to the Universal Studio, it will take almost full day. Uh, so if the guest okay. really want to really enjoy the rest of the attraction, they may need another one and a half or two days just for the rest of the attraction. Um, but for this fun pass, uh, of course, depends on how much time they have. That's why we have uh, three different token group for the guests to choose from. And to better advise or recommend them which attraction to, to go to if they don't really have much time. Uh, normally, we will see whether it's a family or it's a couple because uh, like we will see who are the travelers. So we will be able to advise like, or oh, you should prioritize based on your interest as well. And for the fun pass, uh, the token pass right now that you see, um, each attraction will require a uh, different amount of token to play. So for those who know about our previous uh, fun pass, the Playmax version, that one is uh, you have around 20, 19, 20 attraction in, inside the pass and you can just choose any. But this is a new product and the new fun pass. So you just use as like um, a credit card. So you just tap and play until you just finish the value. So sometimes they won't go for quantity like they won't go as many as possible they may just go for the higher value activity so that they can enjoy more okay so how our guests will come to know that which attraction has a higher value and that i have to do it because the attraction uh, shows the ULE list of 20 activities but how he will come to know that this attraction has a higher value and this attraction has low value so that uh, i can uh, use uh, my money maximum hello mr ajay mm -hmm. hello miss juling how are you guys yes yeah i said shiv i am from travel dmc group okay regarding you are okay. asking for the each and every attraction all the details are given on the santosa website if you can check every attraction have your own like website you can go you can check each attraction how much token sure, sure, sure. Everything is okay. given on the website. If you want, I can share the link after the webinar or you can contact on my numbers given on the emails. If you are having, if you're not having, I will share the detail also. It's very easy sure, and sure. it's very good thing. Santosa I share each and everything on the website. So it is very easy. If you can take the printout in front of you, if your customer came to your office, you can give the all the details and everything. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Juni, the question is from Pratibha that Santosa Fun Pass is valid for one day or two days. Uh, the new Fun Pass that I present just now is uh, valid for two consecutive days, which means if the guests coming today, they can use for today and tomorrow. So it's a two consecutive day. Is there any, any question regarding Santosa you can ask? Hello? Yes. Hello, can uh, you hear me? Uh, hello? Yes, uh, yeah. sir, can I you? have one more question. Can I? Uh, sir, see, since in your studio, we have uh, a, 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 a very famous Indian restaurant. So, like in the same, in Santosa, also, do we have like where our guests can have a lunch and uh, time and have lunch there? Hello? Yes, so your question is whether you have, can have lunch inside Universal Studio or you mean like, lunch? Lunch, see, in Universal Studio, we have an option. Uh, there is an Indian restaurant in Universal Studio, very good restaurant. But the same way, uh, do we have any Indian restaurant in Santosa in any of the zone where the uh, guests can have a, a spend time and have lunch? Yes, we do have quite a variety of uh, restaurants to choose from, but if you mention particularly uh, Indian restaurant, uh, just now I got shared a little bit. One Indian restaurant, uh, actually we have a few. The newest one is the Royal Taj that located at the Village Hotel Sentosa. Uh, we have two located yeah. at the uh, East Station, which is the Toast and Curry and Archers and one located at the um, India Cow area, which is a Samuda Express. Yeah, we have a few for the Indian uh, cuisine. Okay. Okay, thank you. Is there any other question regarding Santosa you can ask, please?
Hello. Yes. Hi, Pratibha. How are you? Hi, Pratibha. Yeah. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Very clear. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Pratibha. I just want to know in Sentosa you have uh, so many attraction, but can you uh, will you able to tell me which are the most popular attraction? Because some people don't have a uh, so much time, like they want to cover in a one day. So can you suggest mm -hmm. some uh, most popular attraction which they can uh, cover only in one day? Only in one except day. Universe, yeah, except Universal Studio. Okay. So normally uh, to cover in one day. Yeah, it also depends whether like uh, the is this like the, the family with elderly or like young people because we do have separate activities. So let's say a family one, they can go to um, see aquarium, then uh, they can go to the um, Madame Tussauds, they can try the luge, uh, then they can take the, they can watch the Wings of Time show. Yeah. Uh, Kepo car as well because normally Kepo car will be considered as like a mode of transport for people to go into the island already. Yeah, that's why I didn't cover it. Yeah, so um, especially okay. if the family have the elderly or the kid, uh, they will take longer time to to enjoy or to go at each attraction also. So normally, if one full day, I think the maximum they can cover like four to five attraction only. If not, it will be very rushed for them. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Hi, uh, Juni. Next question is: In Sentosa, is there an option of dolphin feeding? Option no. Sorry, option no. What? Option of dolphin feeding. I, hi. Actually, he's asking that is there any option for dolphin feeding in the aquarium? Ah. I guess. Ah. Okay. Okay. Actually, um, under Resort World Sentosa, they have Dolphin Island. Mm -hmm. So it's an attraction for family as well. So normally, uh, when you go there, there will be a different session in a day where you can book and you have like um, interactive uh, session with uh, Dolphin. Uh, normally for a smaller group, around uh, 10 people or lesser. Um, yeah, but only at the Dolphin Island right now. Hello. Uh, another question is. Can I uh, uh, yeah, please tell you more about Tall Ship Dinner Cruise? Sorry? Uh, can you tell us more about Tall Ship Dinner Cruise? Oh, okay. Uh, you mean, yes, uh, it's a Royal Albatross. Um, this one, uh, normally, um, every day, uh, you can have uh, dinner there, but normally on weekend, they will have a uh, sell out around uh, two to three hours where you can enjoy your dinner and uh, a beautiful sunset view. So this one right now, um, this product is uh, not uh, sold by us, but you can book directly with them. Mm -hmm. um, it's per slot. Uh, so uh, there will be a limit cap capacity for each uh, day. So normally we will need to reserve in advance if you if you have the guests that want to have the dinner on the Royal Batros. Okay. Uh, another question is: Would you recommend to stay in the hotel uh, in Sentosa? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, because especially the the, the family uh, visitors, so staying on the island will save a lot of time for you to move around from from one place to another so it's very simple when after you stay on the island the next day uh, whenever you wake up after breakfast the whole family can just uh, enjoy and explore the island you no need to worry that uh, what time you need to take the transport to transfer you to the island and whenever your kid uh, feel tired they can just go back to the hotel and rest so it's a very convenient option for you and maybe uh, during uh, four or five days of your trip then the last day you can just go to the city center for some shopping or something yeah so it's a offer a very convenient option for your trip if you stay on the island okay another question is can you tell us more about the shuttle bus the shuttle bus yes definitely so right now um, we have um, three 
intra-island bus, uh, bus A, B, C, uh, from the bus station, it will go to different corner of uh, Sentosa Island, and definitely it will stop at all of the uh, key attraction area. Um, and then we, if the if you the guests stay at the hotel on Sentosa, uh, individual hotel that will also have their own shuttle bus to bring the guests uh, to Vivo City, which is the biggest shopping mall in Singapore. And then from there, if the guests want, they can just shop around there or can just take the MRT to go to anywhere they want. Uh, and all of the public transport on Sentosa, the bus ABC, the beach tram or the monorail will be free for the guests to take to go around. Uh, another question is, is there any budget property in Sentosa? Budget property? Oh, okay. You mean uh, accommodation? Um, as mentioned just now, um, because majority are five star, we have two star of, uh, sorry, we have the four, uh, four star category. We have two hotels, it's the Village Hotel Sentosa and the uh, Siloso Beach Resort. So, um, staying in, on the island, it may be slightly higher in the city center because uh, it's less crowded and it offers a convenience, but depends on the season as well. During the low peak, definitely the rate will be quite attractive as well. Yeah, so when you have a guest, maybe you can check with your DMC again and see uh, what's the, 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 the rate for that period would be like. Uh, there is one other question. Uh, what is the expected date for the opening of Minion Park? Um, this one is still pending the update again from Resort World Sentosa. So mm -hmm. right now they just update that what is coming, uh, what is to what 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 can we expect next? But in terms mm -hmm. of the exact date, we are not sure yet. Uh, after we have any news or update from uh, Resort World Sentosa, we will update all of our partner again. Okay. See the thing is that the Indian the mostly questions are about the food because they are very concerned our client are very concerned about the food whenever they are going abroad i mean singapore so in sentosa all of them are questioning one only one question hello is indian restaurant and where hello oh, indian restaurant. so i'll make sure to send the details regarding the restaurant to all of you guys hello so don't think about it uh yes sir you are asking something yeah, I just wanted to know that and uh, the Minion Park and which was the other park and uh, uh, where are the opening? Are they opening in uh, Universal Studios or is, it, is there a, a different location for the same? It will be a part of Universal Studio. Okay, and which was the other park with Minion Park? Sorry? Uh, one is Minion Park and which was the other park that is opening up? Uh, Nintendo, yeah, Nintendo. Okay, so okay thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, is there any other question? Someone has... Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, 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 suppose uh, I want to do, uh, uh, means uh, someone has to choose between a uh, Sentosa Island and Universal uh, Studio. Which one do you suggest? Uh, okay, it really depends on who are the traveler because um, Universal Studio is beautiful. Uh, it's suitable for family, maybe with kids, but uh, if it's a family with elderly, they may not enjoy the Universal Studio a lot because um, okay. it's good for photo taking, but some of the rides inside may not suitable for elderly. Um, those who don't really like a thriller, uh, adventurous activity. Yeah, so it really depends on who are the travelers. Hello. 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 And please speak one by one. Hi, yeah, Miss Miss Archana, I think you may speak. Yes. Uh, hello. Uh, I just want to ask only one question: Which will be the best time to visit centers and uh, Singapore, like, or any time you can visit, like? 
Mm, okay, because uh, Singapore, the, the weather all year round is almost the same. Um, normally, it, it only have the dry and rainy season. Sir, Mr. Nirbhay, can you please mute your mic? Uh, yes, you may continue. Uh, okay, so uh, I was saying because in Singapore our weather is quite, almost the same for the whole year um, because uh, we only have uh, either dry or wet, wet season. So um, the majority of the attraction on Sentosa are shelter or uh, either indoor. So uh, no matter which time of the year, you can always uh, come and visit. Okay, okay. Another question is... Thank you so much. Yeah, help. Uh, just to Hello. Uh, let me ask a question, then you can continue. Uh, there is a question that is there any attraction for the corporate travelers? Corporate traveler. Um, okay, so for the corporate traveler, we have quite a few. Uh, when they have uh, the event on the island, or they can, or they stay uh, at the hotel on the island. So with the big group, sometimes they buy out some attraction uh, during a uh, certain timing of the day. So like let's say a corporate, they will just book like from ten to twelve at uh, Luch. So during this uh, block of uh, of time. Uh, will be for this company only. So, um, because majority of the corporate, they will come to the island for the incentive trip. So they will want to have that employee, employee enjoy the, 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 the attraction as well, the staff as well as the family. Yes, majority of the attraction on Sosa, uh, the staff as well. Uh, okay, so I think the question are ended. Uh, I would like to thank you, Ms. Jenny, for this amazing presentation. Can I can I ask something? Uh, yeah. yeah sure. you can, you can. Well, what I can uh, see that you know, Saint Rosa is a, is a quite big area. I mean, they are coming up with a quite big area. So apart from that, uh, that shuttle service, is there any other uh, thing that uh, our client can um, used to for the in uh, intra sentosa island uh, uh, the transfers or, or i mean i mean if if we if we want to use something else i mean i i dare say uh, uh you know uh, the the shuttle bus it won't be that convenient so what i'm asking is there anything else uh, to commute commute uh, within the sentosa park Am I am I have I made myself clear? I mean, is the question clear to you? Uh, you mean besides the shuttle bus? Uh, yes. Which are the option for the guests to commute on the island, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Actually, right now for our intra island bus, uh, the frequent is much better because previously we only have bus A and B. We already increased to one more bus. It's a bus C. That's why uh, now at every bus stop, the the guests can easily um, wait for the bus around five to ten minutes to go to a much further distance. Or if they want, they can just walk or they can take the monorail. So actually, moving around the island is quite easy. Yeah, should there be an issue for now? Yeah, that's what I see. I mean, it's not a problem as of now. But when you come up with the extended park and extended uh, uh, activities, uh, uh, don't you see that it would be a problem? I mean, what I see in the slides, it's a huge area that you're going to cover. So uh, do you think um, it's um, uh, it's not a problem if you don't have anything other than shuttle? I'm not very sure that I can catch your question. Okay. You can also to the to the tram. There is a tram ride as well. Yeah, there's a big tram for the guests to go from the bus station to any attraction along the Siloso Beach mm. as well. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay, and and also if uh, you know uh, this is for the DMC also if uh, you know because we've been selling uh, Sentosa as an uh, you know one day 
I mean, one day universal and one day uh, set to only. So, uh, if uh, you see that we can sell it for three, four days, uh, do you guys can make a program, uh, you know, which is best suitable for Indian market, like a, a three nights program in Sentosa with, uh, you know, such and such activities, and maybe as I can, uh, 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 I mean, as I could uh, understand, you know, so many people uh, attending this uh, webinar, ask that uh, which activity is uh, good for, you know, uh, uh, elder or kids or whatever. So what I mean is that can you come up, can you come up with, uh, you know, a three day package where you also mention that these are the uh, attraction that uh, uh, a traveler with the family should be doing. And these are the activities uh, that, uh, you know, of a, a honeymoon couple should be doing. Do you think you can come up with anything like this? It would be very handy for us travel agents, you know. There are actually many packages like if you talk about the Sentosa only, you can mm -hmm. create a package for three nights. Because some travelers are preferring they want to go to Sentosa and cruise, so they can combine that as well. The honeymoon traveler can also combine that. It's a, you can see that three nights in Sentosa and two nights in cruise. So right. it's very convenient and it can be. It it is. There are many packages which are already there. Uh, I will make sure to send you the details for that package because yeah, the, please send it across. Yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Yes. The, most of the attractions are in Sentosa, I think, because if you talk about the. Uh, yeah, because we not we have been not uh, we have not been selling it uh, for as a three three night or a four night destination. No, uh, so Mr. Rakesh, right. what we can do is you if you want three night package, we can make it three night package. If you want two night in Santosa, there are twenty attractions. If you want to stay in Santosa, you can cover it up. If you uh, stay in city, you can do Santosa over there. It depends on you and the DMC which you are working with. You can if you want right. to make the package for the three days in Santosa, we can make it. There is no such an issue. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, uh, we need your help for this. Uh, if you can, uh, can, can you know, it's very down. easy. Sentosa yeah. is yeah. our means we, uh, we prefer Sentosa to sail it out so we can do it for three days, two days, four days if you want anything. Right, right. Okay, and that's all I have to Thanks. ask. Thank, thank you. you so much, Mr. Rakesh. Um, and Juni, yeah, I'm really um, thank you to you for giving us uh, time. Hello. At the last, I can just I just want to say stay home, stay safe, because I know the coronavirus affected lot much on the travel industry. And okay. hello. Uh, thank you, Mr. Glennon as well for joining us. Yes. Okay, Jun. I think uh, it's the end of the session. Yeah, so I think uh, that's about it for our slide. So maybe just let me add on one last point regarding to the the, 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 the question just now. So we understand that uh, during the rejuvenation period, the traffic may be up a little bit, but uh, don't worry. In terms of transportation, uh, we will have the measure and alternative in place to ensure that the crowd movement, movement will be still well executed so the tourists won't be affected when they come and visit Sentosa during this period. Yeah. So thank you very much again for um, Travel DMC uh, team for helping us to organize today's session. So thank in the future, you guys also. And, uh, and yes. really thank you to all the participants who uh, see the presentation. I just uh, let you know that this presentation is available on YouTube also. And if you want the contact detail or the Santosa member, it's already see on the screen. If you can, uh, you and you want it, you can check it out from there. And at the last, we, before ending the uh, presentation, I just want to say, stay home, stay safe, or do home yard rakna. We will soon come back with boom. Dhanyavad. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Juni. Thank you, Mr. Lennon. Yeah. All your time.